Okay, welcome to another Viacom tutorial. Today we're looking at keywords training and recognition, or more directly, Windows voice recognition. A lot of people generally have uh, issues when they start using uh, voice attack and Viacom with recognition. And it, what it ends up being is generally down to one or two things. Uh, your microphone's not set up correctly, or you haven't trained the Windows speech engine to recognize the way you speak, your accent and your inflections. So let's have a look at how we can make this a little bit better. All right, so I have uh, Viacom currently popped up with the UI and it was loaded when we opened voice attack. You can see the plugins now loaded, uh, ready for commands and I've opened the config window. Before we look at Viacom keyword training, uh, we want to make sure we've got our settings in voice attack correct. Now, there's a couple of, way you can a couple of ways you can access your speech settings um, and device settings. The first one's up here, this little microphone symbol. If we click on that, you can see we get the uh, what recording device we're using. And this time it's my headset and also what the speech profile is and we can select that. You can have multiple speech profiles for different um, background noise settings uh, using different devices to record. But the main one is to make sure this speech rec recording device level is set to 100%. You can see as I'm talking, voice attack, this little red bar go up and down, it is hearing what I'm saying. Now, if I turn this down, and we're gonna lose a bit of volume on the recording as well for this video, if I turn it down, it just doesn't hear you as well. And you really need that up all the way at 100%. So that's one way to access it. And the other way is here in the options, voice attack options, via the spanner here. If I pop that open now, um, go to the recognition tab. Um, it's important to make sure you've got the right speech engine for your voice. Um, that's the correct one for me, UK English, even though I'm speaking with an Australian accent. Uh, configure these correctly. Uh, recognized speech delay zero, um, command weight 85, and minimum unrecognized confidence level zero. Now, because I'm using VSPX, which is here, I need an unrecognized speech delay of 700. Now, if you're not using VSPX, you're using the standard mode for Viacom, then that would be zero. Minimum confidence level is the minimum confidence level from a command that you want for it then to action. So that's to stop you executing the wrong command. Now that's personal preference. I, I run it at 40, because um, some, some words don't quite get recognized um, a lot higher than 40%. They're in that sort of 46. Um, so it just means that I have I have personally less problems with it. So minimum confidence level, you might want that higher or you might want it lower. Be careful setting it too low um, because it'll just have a crack at anything. Um, you can also, again, configure those devices down here. But the most important thing on this tab is this utilities button here. And if I pop that open, we've got advanced speech options, speech engine training, how to remove dictionary words, which is very important. Your mic set up sound settings. Um, these you should have already done. Um, you might not have done the speech engine training, and that is really important. Um, so if we bring that up, speech recognition voice training, it's just a long brief on how voice recognition works that you read out back to the computer and it gets to know your voice. You have to have done that. So if you haven't done it, go and do it. Um, I've already done it, so I'm going to move on. Um, back in the utilities, uh, we have the advanced speech options, but that's not required. We can access all of those from the options tab here, uh, but we have add or remove dictionary words. So basically to add words, um, prevent a word from being di dictated, um, change existing words that you've put into your speech dictionary. So we'll have a look at that in a little bit. Uh, so let's now jump in. We're happy we've got all that set up correctly. We'll jump straight in and go into the editor tab of 
Vacom UI. You can see it's got 1631 keywords. Uh, it's a lot more than it initially uh, had when it first came out. Vacom had around 430 odd words. So it's triple the size now, the keyword category. Now to train all those is you know, gonna take you a long time. And to be honest, it's, it's probably not worth doing. You wanna train the words you use regularly. Now the manual says you can go through by opening this and you can scroll through to get all your words and train them one at a time. Now, I am not gonna do that. I've never done that. Um, I just get the ones that I wanna train and I find it a lot easier than accessing them here just to good, grab the good old Viacom manual and the keywords reference section and run through the ones you want to train in particular and you don't have to do it all in one hit you can just have goes at it every now and then and just keep training them so we'll use this today i'll just take it off screen and to access the keyword training it's this microphone button here so when i activate that you'll see a couple of things happen uh, firstly over here it says initializing training mode um, Microsoft speech recognizer it tells you which one you're using um, so English UK that's correct it's loaded the command phrases which is good and the offline keyword training initialized now what that means is it has now turned off my push to talk button so while I'm doing keyword training I don't need to hit the push to talk button I can just talk using the mic to control the listening state of the microphone for keywords training. We're using what's popped up here, which is the Windows speech recognition window. Now this little pop up here, currently the mic is off and it should default to off when it pops up. To activate the listening state, it's, it's this microphone here. So it will turn the mic on when we want to start our keywords training. All right, so let's um, try a couple that, you know, hopefully um, it would recognize easy. So uh, I will start a few. So the ones I'll use, uh, we'll start with the flight commands. Uh, so words like um, radio check, um, saw the maneuver ones from my wingman. So we'll do that, here we go. Radio check, radio check, radio check. All right, so you can see that it, it recognized radio check with re very high confidence levels. Um, and that's because mainly it's a phrase um, and the syllables in those um, individual words are radio and check. So it's quite easy for Windows speech recognition to recognize it without really any training because this is a new profile I've started. So you can see it's quite reliable. Um, so I know I don't really need to do anything with radio check, so no further training required. Um, let's try something a little harder that it might struggle with a bit, with a little less confidence. So what about fence in? Fence in. Fence in. Fence in. Okay, you can see that its confidence level is a bit variable and it went up, dropped, and that's probably just due to the inflections in my voice. But that's actually okay because I've got a minimum confidence level of 40, so it's going to get that easily. So I don't really need to do any further training with that. Now, the thing with this Windows speech recognition, the more you use these words, the easier it finds it to recognize it. So hence, if you keep repeating it, it will build up, its its confidence level will build up. It may go down, but that's usually just due to the way your voice has changed the inflection when you're saying the words. Uh, I'll pick something that it really struggles with. So let's pick something like um, some of the airport names particularly. Now, if you're flying in and out of a certain map, you might want to train some of these airport names because you know, your voice recognition struggles. It's somewhere where you're generally flying in and out of, and it's going to get annoying. So we're going to really want to train those words. So what about a word like um, katasi? So we'll try that and see how it goes. Katasi. Katasi. 
Kutasi. All right, it didn't even pick it up at all. We could see it was what was that again? What was that again? It even though it's been loaded into the keywords database, it couldn't work it out. So this is where your speech dictionary can come in. So if I go back to the options here into the recognition tab, pop the utilities and go add or remove dictionary words. And we were going to add a new word and that word was Katasi. AISI, I think that's it, Katasi. Okay, next. Now, this word is always capitalized. Well, it is because it's a name of a place. So we select that. And because it's a difficult one, I'm going to record a pronunciation upon finish. So I'll check that box, hit finish. And now it's asking me to record the way I say Katasi. Because it may not be the way it's said in Georgia. It could be said a completely different way. And it was expecting me to say that. Now, this is the problem with accents. This is a problem with localizations. And it's the reason why this keyword training is important. So let's have a go and recording Katasi the way I say it. Katasi. All right, we'll listen to that. Katasi. 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 Okay, so we'll finish that. And we'll cancel out of the speech dictionary, click OK. Now we're back here to continue our treat, our keyword training. So let's have a go at Katasi and see how it goes now that I've recorded it into my speech dictionary. Katasi. Katasi. There we go. 85 and 86. I've now solved my Katasi problem. So you get the idea, that's how we do it. You go through, you work your way through your speech training. When you're finished with your speech training, it's easy as just closing the Windows speech recognition UI and pressing the mic symbol again to exit training mode. Keyword training finished and you're done. I hope you get something out of that. I hope it makes your voice recognition better with Voice Attack and Biocom, and thanks for watching.